uh, several months ago with complaints of uh, uh, pain from the uh, metal plates and screws that were placed in her left collarbone and her right forearm uh, following reconstruction of fractures at the time of the uh, collision and sustained massive trauma to his left leg, to his chest, to his abdomen, and to his skull. He was transported to Brackenridge Emergency Room uh, and taken immediately to surgery where he was stabilized by chest surgeons and abdominal surgeons. He subsequently uh, was stabilized by orthopedic surgeons um, and uh, was uh, evaluated for a severe, open, uh, comminuted fracture of the distal femur just above the left knee. He was initially placed in a fixator device that crossed the joint uh, until soft tissues were stabilized. Subsequently, he underwent uh, an open reduction internal fixation of the fracture uh, along with uh, use of, of a cement to stabilize the fracture. Once soft, soft tissues were uh, thoroughly stabilized, uh, he ultimately underwent a bone grafting procedure to fill in a massive defect of bone just above the knee. Part of that procedure involved taking uh, bone from the uh, proximal part of the femur with a reaming device and taking that bone and placing it into this large defect once the cement was removed. I initially evaluated uh, Mr. Mall in my office um, sometime after the accident and sometime after he had been stabilized uh, uh, surgically. Um, he showed a, an unstable knee uh, when I saw him in the office. He had sustained a posterior cruciate ligament uh, injury. Uh, he had uh, post-traumatic arthritis of his left knee and post-traumatic tra post arthritis of his left hip. This is a uh, depiction of uh, Mr.